What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm actually going to be talking about The Boys Season 3 in this video here today. So I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the trailer that I saw for it earlier this week and going into what I think the direction is going to be. Now, in the trailer, we see that of course we still have the seven ran by Vought or propelled to the heads of society to the society in this universe uh, by Vought International. These seven corrupt soups and we still of course have our group the boys who are hunting them down these vigilantes who are trying to take Vought down, expose them and you know just show that all these heroes that are perceived as being these goody two shoes these uh these lights at the end of the tunnel for society are actually trash human beings so we see all that still going on it's a lot of bloodshed going on too i like the way it looks in terms of how it looks like they've amped up the blood it seems though that what they're doing this time around is exploring something related to billy's character billy the butcher played tremendously well by carl urban this time around and it's going to be talking about the ideas of him maybe possibly giving up on trying to take Vought down i'm just throwing it out there if that's that's was just one of the possibilities i was thinking about as i was watching this there's a there's a chemical that it seems he's taking or a substance that's going to let him have the powers that the soups have for at least 24 hours like the compound v that we know that is the source of their powers for all of them and it seems that also in the trailer there's an instance where someone mentions to billy should you be doing this it's like do you really need to become the thing that you hate to take it down it but it seems like also what you will have a questioning as well and from what i could see them doing is exploring billy giving up on taking down vaught if it's if it's mike like a uh, if you can't beat him join the mentality they could explore that this could be related to some of the events that transpired at the end of season two and how it's impacted him but it does also seem that maybe i hope we'll get something related to a big battle between him and homelander this time around because i know some people would love to see something like that take place in this universe uh to see those two clash finally this series has been a has been a great uh I would say alteration of what I'm used to when it comes to superheroes because again growing up and just of course still with all the modern things you have with Marvel DC you have the typical superhero good guy versus bad guy who's actually a bad guy and sometimes the bad guys of course is troubled and not necessarily all the way bad just drawn or I would guess you could say forced into bad stuff due to his life progressions or their life progressions but with this it's a different take because it's like okay well what do you do when that super villain that bad guy is also the superhero which is what we see with these group of seven that are propelled again to the head of society in this universe through vault international and they are depicted as being these heroes but then we see that behind closed doors they are trash human beings they do a lot of terrible things we know that's what ultimately led to one of those terrible things is what led to huey played by jack quaid for you screen fans out there that's what led to him joining up with uh, the boys and trying to hunt them down and take out vaught take down the boys and of course with butcher wanting revenge on homeland for all the history between them so there's a lot of different things that it seems like season three is going to be exploring i'm mostly excited to see how they explore the character of billy and what his trauma is and how this really connects to whether or not he has gone into a mindset of you know what i can't take down but i can't take down homelander and you know at this point or maybe it's something that's a shift in his end game and his goal he doesn't care about taking down vaught he just wants to be as strong as he can to ultimately take out homelander he's not interested in taking out anything related to vaught anymore he's become so indulged in taking down homelander he's forgotten what the mission is of everyone else that he has hyped up so well in the other seasons he just wants to take down homelander so it could be some ex some selfishness that's being explored some overly selfish actions on his end exploring his trauma again going off of what happened at the end of the season two how that's affected him into season three and where he's at mentally homelander from what i saw in this trailer looks like he's gone completely off of the deep end his insanity has been teased and kind of just been a crucial uh i guess progression to these seasons and these narratives that have been going on ever since his inception and introduction in the original season and we have learned a lot of things about him that shows that he definitely has some things that are not all the way correct upstairs and it looks like in season three those are going to be fleshed out a little bit further i'm hoping we get some type of epic battle between him and the butcher i'm hoping something happens where the butcher takes one of those drugs that gives him those powers for 24 hours and these two just have an all-out epic brawl that many people will talk
talk about online and of course the fandom will go wild over it the internet will just blow up over this battle between homelander and the butcher so given what was shown in the trailer for season three i'm excited for it can't wait to see what happens when it debuts i do think that i will come on here and maybe do some recaps i'm just gonna of course see how it goes with uh getting access to screeners first before i do that and whether or not this season will be just as good as the other two i don't know i definitely can say it looks like it'll be the most bloodiest i don't necessarily know if of course that means it's going to be the best or the most strongest in terms of its narrative that it's going to tell uh but i liked everything i saw i liked the sequences i saw in the trailer it got me interested got me hyped loved again all the blood i love the horror elements of this show when it comes to the blood and the gore and how of course being on a streaming platform like amazon prime allows them to venture off into again some no no territories i would say when it comes to talking about talking about superhero things usually for me anyway growing up you don't usually see a lot of blood like this going on in superhero tales but then again it's again a take on what happens i guess when the superhero is also the super villain because a lot of these people that are part of the seven they are not the best people they're not very likable you're on the side of these vigilantes that want to take them down and i like how it's showing this kind of it's it's basically a commentary i guess you could say on mass media in general and how you have your heroes portrayed in the news in one light when they're not really the heroes and the people that are portrayed as the enemies they're actually the ones that are heroes it's not how the media is portraying it so i like that i like that aspect of exploring that i like the way it's shifting the narrative of what superheroes have been for many people who grew up with these things and now kind of taking it in this nasty dark direction i've liked how the boys has explored that very well i like the compelling narratives it has to offer and the third season trailer looks like it's going to be of course very action-packed very very blood drenched and it looks like butcher is going to have a very compelling arc this time around that relates to his morality and whether or not he has lost sight of the mission or if he's just completely just abandoned that mission in favor of an all-out assault on homelander so he doesn't care about what everyone else wants he's gonna be selfish overly selfish in his path to take down homelander but let me know what you guys thought about the trailer down in the comment section below if you're a fan of the boys if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video